Hello. A uh, woodwork wood turning forum that I participate in, uh, called the Wood Turners Resource, um, periodically has an event, I guess you'd call it, uh, which we call a challenge and trade, where they put up a project, uh, just a generic project, and everybody that wants to participate, nobody has to, uh, signs up and says they'll try it, and uh, they make one, their own interpretation of whatever that project is, uh, to the best of their ability, The that's the challenge part, to make something to the best of your ability, try to do better than you've done before. Uh, and then at the end of the time period allotted, uh, they generate a list of partners. You're given a partner and then you post the picture of the thing you made and you trade yours for the one your partner made. So, the challenge and trade this time is the project uh, is a, an angel wing or banana bowl or whatever you want to call them. Uh, an elongated natural edge shape, usually just a shallow arc. Uh, whatever you want to do with it, I guess. So, I have had this banksia pod for quite some time not exactly knowing what I wanted to do with it so I thought it would be a good piece to use to make a banana bowl or angel wing or whatever you want to call it so I took it to the bandsaw and ripped it down the middle so I have two chances to get one. Um, this is my second try. I already messed up the first half of this. Uh, the first one, I tried to make the bottom of the wing out here. And as soon as I started, well, not as soon as I started, but very shortly after I started, I had the outside turned and I had it mounted on a glue block when I was going in the middle these holes are too close together it's just like perforations on the roll of toilet toilet paper it just snapped the, the uh, ends just flew off uh, somewhere I have no idea where but uh, they're around here somewhere so this time I'm going to make this the bottom, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. The only difficulty is figuring out how I'm going to get that centered. Centered that way. And that way. So I'll spray some accelerator on here. And put some medium viscosity cyanoacrylate on here.
I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a flat spot here and put a glue block on this face as well. So I can turn it around and, and turn the bottom before I do the top. Okay, I'm also going to put this on. It's not a face shield, but it will stop the chips from hitting me in the face anyway. Uh, and this piece isn't that heavy, so hopefully it will give me some protection against it. If it should come off that glue block, Um, this dark stuff here that you're seeing up here, if you've never turned a uh, Banksia pod, this dark stuff feels like velvet. It's fuzzy. Um, it's all through just underneath the surface here. Um, I know the first time I had a Banksia pod, and this is only the second time, I thought that I, if I sprayed lacquer or something on there it would stiffen it up so I'd be able to cut it off or sand it off, and it never really did. Um, it actually, even in the finished piece, it looked and felt fuzzy. So, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but... So I'm going to go for a little larger... I'd actually like to get through that fuzzy stuff, because I doubt if that's going to provide much of a glue bond. Okay, so that, there's some so, enough solid stuff there, I can get a glue bond on that, I think. Uh, but that area is basically curved right now, I want to flatten it out. That should be fine. Okay, so... Aha! Uh -huh, that's rocking, so I'm high in the middle. On either this piece or that piece, but...
I'll take a little more out of the middle here. So I'll glue this on and then true it up. Again using medium viscosity cyanoacrylate. Okay, so I've got a shoulder all the way around, although there isn't much of one there, but uh, I think I should be fine to grip that. 